Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing and this month I got the Boxy Lux. So normally when I order from BoxyCharm I get this nice little cute little box right here but when you do Boxy Lux you get a much bigger box. So I got, oh wait, so I got this box this month instead of this box so yeah here was a little upgrade it's so big yeah so as you can see it's a good upgrade <laughs> and i'm just gonna let you guys know what i think of the products inside this box so if you guys are interested just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe of course so the boxy lux is where you pay i think 21 to 28 dollars more than your usual 21 dollars and you get like an upgraded box so i think they have the boxy luxes every like four times for the year and december is one of the times where you can get a boxy lux so i'm here to share you guys what exactly i got in my december boxy lux and let you guys know whether or not these products are worth it so in total i think i spent 49 dollars so a proc i think i spent like 50 dollars so this is like 50 dollars worth of stuff and already i have a box of stuff take 50 dollars to sephora i can only get like one or two stuff so let's just dive into it and see if it's definitely worth it because you can get a box of stuff and it could be a box of junk so hopefully we don't have a box of junk right here so the first thing i'm grabbing out of my box the first thing i'm grabbing out of my box is this luxy complete face set so it is face brushes and honestly i can't get enough face brushes so you get two four six what appears to be eight pieces in your set mostly eye brushes and then probably like three face brushes it says that get a flop okay I'm not gonna read everything but it's basically saying this brush set is worth $65 so already we have the complete like yeah already we know that the box is worth it because this product only has a $65 price tag attached to it. These do have like a really, really strong like factory smell, chemical smellish. So I'm definitely going to have to wash these before I even think about putting them on my face. Damn, how was it? Oh, it has the brushes on the back. So I'm just going to see what kind of brushes that you get. It says you get a round top blender brush, tapered highlighting brush, pro precision brush, tapered blending, eye shading, flat definer, brow and lash spoolie, and a lip brush. So that's all you get in this thing right here. Alright, so I'm reaching into my box. The next thing that I got is this mini styling tool. So it is a mini flat iron. And I remember that I knew that I was going to get this because they actually give you the option to get either the flat iron or some other product. But I was like, nah, the other product that they were offering, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I was like, mm -mm. give me the flat iron. I felt like the flat iron was more valuable. So it's this and it comes in this little travel size case. It's this little baby flat iron. You can get like your edges and try and lay like your lace your wig on the flat out but yeah yeah so they say this is the PYT mini hair straightener and it goes up to a maximum of 400 degrees and uh, yeah you it's basically a travel friendly baby hair friendly type of flat iron and it's valued at $75. And I don't know, I said I don't know if I'm spending $75 on this little baby flat iron. 
I don't really see other than getting in my back teacher. I don't I never see I would personally never go and get a baby flat iron. I would just use like my little hot comb. But it's cute or whatever. So we working with it, right? Alright. It's we're definitely past the $50 I spent, so I am not complaining. Next thing that I see is this Wonder Beauty Wonder Rest. Dust till dawn blush and highlighter palette. Let's see if this is something I can actually use as blush and highlighter. Okay, so they're like really mini. Okay, yeah, I could definitely use these colors. Let's see how pigmented they are. Okay. They feel pretty good. And my camera is washing out the color, but they feel pretty good and they look pretty pigmented. They're pretty nice. I would definitely, definitely use this. It's a nice little palette. And the highlighter is nice. It's very complimentary to my skin. It's like a very, very subtle highlight, though it's not like a shining highlight it's like a highlight i would wear when i don't really want to show that i'm wearing a lot of highlighter but it's okay it's worth it i think let me see if it's worth it i'm saying it's worth it like i know the price wonder beauty okay so it says that this is 26 dollars for this little trio okay i don't think i would spend 23 dollars maybe Fifteen dollars. Not this is yeah. Twenty six dollars. I don't. I don't know. Be twenty. Maybe fifteen dollars. As I said. Show this. The next thing I'm gonna take out is this Spongile Blossom Bliss Beyond Cleansing Body Wash Infused Buffer. So it's like a. Oh, it's one of these. It's like a bath sponge and then there's like soap infused in it. And I think you could get like a couple of washes out of it. Yeah, so you basically just add water and the soap is already in it. And funny enough, I did see this the other day. And I was like, oh, these are kind of like cool looking. I want to try it, but I didn't buy it. So, you know, God work in mysterious ways because, you know, watch out. I'm going have it. Can't wait to try this. And it smells really good. Like it smells not like a perfume, it smells like a clean smell. But like a nice clean smell. And this retails for $20. Yeah, I would not have bought this for $20. So I'm happy that I got this. And the next thing that I've got is this pro collagen marine mask and it's an anti-wrinkle day cream for fine lines and wrinkles and it's from the brand elemis okay so it's like a day cream so you apply it every day um let me open it up and see how it looks okay so the packaging looks like this and it's basically a anti-wrinkle day cream i don't really got wrinkles right now but it's anti-wrinkle but i don't think i will realistically use this so i might just give it away to my mom or something because realistically i'm not gonna use it but it looks cute or whatever I think it's a French brand because a lot of the writing in the back is like French. But I think, I don't know. And it says that that mask, that day cream is for $89. Are you kidding me? $89 for this? 
Yeah, I'm mean, definitely I'm gonna get somebody who's gonna actually use it because it's nine dollar for one cream. I mean that's not really a lot compared to like other creams of this nature. But yeah, I can't make the 89 dollar waist, so I have to make somebody use it, right? Then I got this little bag. A towering bag. I have so many of these and I always like getting them but then after a little while I just forget about it and it feels like something is in it. Crimes of beauty. Oh it comes with this little portable charger. Okay this is super cute. Yeah this is going in somebody's stocking. Thank you boxy charm you know what? Okay. The bag is super cute. It says Glam AF with the little charger. I'm not mad at it. This bag is for uh $22. So cute. And it's a nice little wristlet. And you can just put whatever you're putting in your bag and you could just go out and you can have your little charger in it and it's like super cute like yeah I'm, I'm keeping it and its value is $22 okay which makes me think that the portable charger probably isn't that good just saying but if it works and gives me some charge because my phone is always dying because I you know always forget to charge it then yeah i need that in my life next thing in the box is this tart shimmering lip paint so i'm guessing it's like a lip gloss yeah it's pretty much a shimmery gloss Let's see if i can yeah so it's a gloss with like a lot of shimmer but it's like um a rainbow type of shimmer it's like very iridescent and it has like a lot of different colors showing up yeah this might be a stocking stuffer too because you know I don't really like shimmery glosses but somebody else might right see I'm sharing sharing is scary right yeah and then the next thing I got is this Grande or Grand Mascara is a lash boosting formula. It didn't come in a package, like a box or anything. It was just like tossed in the box. So I don't know if it was like previously opened. It looks brand new. But yeah, and I know this brand, I actually was on their website the other day and they pretty much have like mascara and I think lip stuff and brow stuff. They don't really carry a lot of different stuff and they are quite, I guess, popular for their lash serum for like growing your eyelashes and stuff. So I think the mascara is also for, also for that because it says it's a lash boosting formula but honestly i think all of those things are super gimmicky but we will give it a chance and i will give you my feedback as to whether it's a gimmick or it actually works and the price for this one is 25 dollars. okay and then the last thing in the box is this violet boss pro eyeshadow palette and i don't own any Shadows from Violet Voss. So this will be my first. And that's one of the reasons I love Boxy Charm so much. Because you really get to try products that you probably have seen but have never gotten the chance to buy or probably would just never buy. Um, but you think it's like interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to open it. Lord knows I got so many eyeshadow palettes. This might be a gift too. Who knows? 
See, I got like how many gifts under this box? See? So this one, it just says Pro Eyeshadow Palette. I know they have a few. I don't know. Oh. Why is it so hard to come out of the box? Okay, so after fighting to open the Violet box, I finally got it out. And I'm so impressed. First of all, the palette feels very weighty. It does not feel cheap. It does not feel like... Yeah, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like quality. And then you open it up and you get these. My camera's kind of washing out some of the shades, but these look gorgeous. Ah, oh, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Should I gift it? Or should I keep it? Because it's so pretty. And I don't have any of these. So I might keep it. Sorry. Sorry, guys. You know? I think I'm keeping this. But I don't know how the shadows really perform because I've never tried anything from BoxyCharm before. Not BoxyCharm. I've never tried anything from Violet Voss before. So... <laughs> I don't really know how the palette is going to perform, but if it performs as beautiful and as pigmented as it looks, then I will be very, very happy to keep this. Um, so the name of the palette is actually on this, and it's the Violet Voss Pro HG Palette. And it's a mixture, it's a mixture of creamy mattes and bold metallics and silky satins. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and it's created with finely milled pigments, making it easy for smooth application and easy blending. So that's the claim of the palette. So we're going to see if the claim is true. So I will definitely be using this palette in a video or just, just randomly letting you guys know that this palette is worth it or not. And this palette retails for $45. Which I'm not surprised. Like palettes like this is normally like in the $45 range. I didn't count. So let me count how many shadows. So there are 20 eyeshadows. Yeah, there are 20 eyeshadows. And they look really, really nice. And they have really cute little names. On Fleek, So Jelly, Are You Kidding Me? Wine and Dine, Thanks a Latte, Hashtag. Really, really cute names. So I really like the palette just left with some sponges and stuff but my box is empty so this concludes my boxy charm unboxing video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing exactly what i got in my boxy lux and maybe you guys want to try boxy lux next time um or just stick to your regular boxy charm but either way, I'm in love with this whole subscription box thing. Like, it's really a dream come true. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in another video. Ciao.